like this video and the news will come to you every day. Senate unanimously passes bill making animal cruelty a federal felony, sending it to President Trump's desk. D. Exceptions. 1. In general this section does not apply with regard to any conduct, or a visual depiction of that conduct, that is. A. A customary and normal veterinary agricultural husbandry, or other animal management practice. B. The slaughter of animals for food. C. Hunting, trapping, fishing, a sporting activity not otherwise prohibited by federal law, predator control, or pest control. D. Medical or scientific research. E. Necessary to protect the life or property of a person, or F. Performed as part of euthanizing an animal. Interesting how there's no religious exemption. It's some needed to be specifically singled out, since anything like that would fall under customary agricultural practices. Edit, SP. Edit, to clarify, when I say that certain religious activities would be covered under customary agricultural activities I'm referring to religious agricultural activities. That is things like kosher or halal slaughter, or maybe some Hindu preparation of food that I'm not aware of, or something like that. That is, it has a religious element, but at the end of the day it is still about agriculture, about food production of some kind. If someone claimed it was just a religious principle for them to sacrifice 100 goats in the middle of a field, or go around skinning cats alive, or something like that, that is unlikely to be covered. For obvious reasons. What do we say cultural agricultural practices here, even though it's not really what the law says, I think you can basically interpret that to mean as it's been a long-running tradition accepted in the United States. Kosher, halo, etc. falls into that. Someone coming in with a newfangled or fringe religion that's just an excuse to torture animals is not. That's just the reality and benefit of being an established entity. Sweet, so sacrificing goats to appease the rain god is still okay. Does this mean I can sue the police for killing my dog? Ha <laughs> Dogs are still considered property. This homie Arwa didn't commit a crime, and he lost his suit for damages done by police destroying his house. Your lawsuit might be settled, because dogs are cheap, but the courts say they don't owe you shit. It's fucked up how cops both don't have a duty to protect and serve, the phrase they plaster on all their gear, but if they choose to they are immune from any consequences of doing their job, and sometimes, when they break the law. Property until they become a police dog. Then they are cops. Huh. Makes sense. Unless an officer kills the dog, by leaving it in a hot car, for example. Then it goes back to just property. Specifically, animal cruelty for pets. Animal cruelty for agriculture and research would still be legal. Yesterday someone posted a video of a man dragging his dog behind his truck as he drove it away. I think that's as well as a step in the right direction. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Good news. You don't have to. If you have men who will exclude any of God's creatures from the shelter of compassion and pity, you will have men who will deal likewise with their fellow men. Francis of Assisi. Asterisk I eat meat. Francis ate meat. It was like a thousand years ago, and it was necessary to eat meat to survive, and it was probably hard to come by and highly valued. There is a difference between slaughtering an animal, in order to survive vs inflicting unnecessary cruelty on it. Hunting and herding cultures around the world highly revere the animals they depend on for survival. Having said that, and considering the current effects that mass meat consumption is having on the environment, and the wide availability of alternatives in the developed world, it is increasingly difficult to continue to classify meat consumption as wholly necessary for survival. Pope Francis chose his papal name in honor of him. Every pope since 533 AD has taken a saint's name, when they were elected, except for one guy. And the only reason Marcellus II didn't change his name is that he was already named after a saint. Marcellus I was pope in the 4th century. Francis didn't choose his name due to Saint Francis' love of animals though, it was his advocacy for the poor. Isn't this still just the bill that makes profiting from videos of animal cruelty a crime? The bill that keeps getting massively blown out of proportion? Looks very limited, yeah. The bill is an expansion on the 2010 Animal Crush Video Prohibition Act, which made the creation and distribution of animal crushing videos illegal. The underlying acts, which were not included in the 2010 bill, are part of the Pact Act. It would make it a federal crime for any person to intentionally engage in animal crushing if the animals or animal crushing is in, substantially affects, or uses a means or facility if, interstate or foreign commerce, according to a fact sheet of the bill. This makes way more sense to me, why it would be a federal issue. 
just animal abuse is general is already a felony in most states. Seems pretty reasonable. They should add pet shaming. One of my dogs always eats his brother's food and he's a fat piece of shit and needs to know it. My cat's also a fat fuck. I caught him in a trash can yesterday eating leftover spaghetti. What the hell? Cats can't even digest carbs. Mine is skinny, but he fucking loves bread. WTF you doing cats? My cat has a thing for rice. Whenever I cook rice I have to fight to keep him away from it. Mine has that same thing for shredded cheese. Literally can't make burritos or tacos without him screaming his lungs out. Yeah. I think the people who are unhappy about the limited scope are misguided. Poor practices in the agricultural, medical, and scientific industries would probably best be addressed by a code of practices, rather than a felony charge for malpractices. Short-sighted people are always disappointed in incremental improvements. You don't change everything overnight, you start with a single step. The problem is very often people will try to portray the first step as being enough. The most important step is the next one. What about dogs, who get shot in police raids? We are still working on holding the police accountable for murdering people. Yeah, but I like dogs. How is this a federal issue? Sure, it's deplorable and should be illegal at the state level, but seems out of scope for federal interest. It appears to be specific to making and or distributing animal crushing videos for profit. I guess that falls under interstate commerce? IDK what animal crushing videos are, and I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Please do. I'd try to warn anyone else reading this from looking into it further, but I'm afraid the only argument I can make is inchoate screaming. I'm not against the bill, but under the US Constitution is this really in the purview of the federal government? Isn't this just going to get struck down, just like the FGM law? This bill is a modification of a law that the Supreme Court already struck down in US v Stevens, 559 US 460, 2010. What the news coverage omits is that Congress tried to deal with the constitutional issues by one. Limiting the coverage to conduct that occurs on federal land or that affects interstate commerce and two. Limiting the restriction on videos to content that is obscene. As a practical matter, that means that the statute is probably constitutional, but will cover very little conduct, and thus will rarely be charged. But the members of Congress who voted for it get to brag about it, when they run for re-election, so there's that. Ah, so the title is garbage, that. Thanks for watching this video. Like. Subscribe, and hit the bell, to see more interesting video. Goodbye.